it's been a bit. I cut my hair. Well, truth is, I tried cutting my own hair and I failed miserably, so uh, the majority of it went off, but don't worry. The good thing is about hair, it'll grow back. No changes in here. Nothing much different here. Nothing much different here. A lot of the fish did unfortunately get rehomed. Um, well, not unfortunately, because that means good things are coming. So, but I will miss them. Like I miss all my fish, but all the fish are in here. All the lights are off. I'm kind of making this a rush video because the children and I decided to go to a fish store this morning since, you know, it is spring break here in Ontario. Kids are home from school and I'm on vacation, which means I can get back to content. And I found something I've been looking for. Now, let me show you. This is an empty aquarium. It's been empty for quite some time. It's a 20 gallon long aquarium. I will be upgrading this, but I found some fish that would do splendid in here. Now, they're a fish I've been wanting for quite some time. If you followed me over on Instagram, I've talked about them in the past, but they're kind of hard to find here. Kind of an oddball fish. I'm an oddball fish kind of guy. I love them, but uh, I kind of just have this old rigged Hyger light on here. I've had this light for so long and uh, well, it works wonders. But this aquarium is a 20 gallon long. I got some fish today for this aquarium. And I know what you're thinking. Don't go buy an aquarium without the tank already set up and the tank cycled. Well, good news for me, I have a bunch of aquariums in this fish room, Farage, and I can steal cycled media from any aquarium I choose to. I can just go down into their filtration, grab some cycled media, throw it in, and we are good to go. And in this case, that's what we're going to do for the most part. So we're gonna set up this aquarium today for the inhabitants. Typically, I go get new water, but this aquarium right here, which is Little Mitch's aquarium, let me show you, right down here, doing fantastic. And this tank, the nitrates never go above 10 parts per million, ever. I swear, it's all the plants in here doing their job. Um, I do water changes every week, about 20 to 30% water changes every week, and I never have a problem in this aquarium. So, we're gonna take water from this aquarium. We're gonna do something a little bit different with it. Like I was saying, this aquarium, literally, it's, it's doing fantastic. Mitch is loving it. Um, unfortunately, he ate all of his tank mates. I'm still trying to figure out if I, if I should do more um, and what I should do about that, but um, in this case, in any case, he's... he's um, they're doing great, doing absolutely incredible. I actually upgraded his filtration on this aquarium. You may or may not see it in the background, um, but that's for another video. But Mitch is doing great. Let me know in the comments section what I should put in this aquarium. I do wanna try some other tank mates. I'm thinking something more, a little larger than Cardinal Tetris because Mitch kind of thought them of them as, you know, his snacks, if you will. You see this stuff here, this, ladies and gentlemen, is salt, baby. Crumple this up, and we're gonna drop it in. So again, I'm using already established water, good water, clean water. I can test it for you if you'd like. I'm sure uh, you guys understand by now kind of where I'm going with this, but not full marine, brackish. Brackish fish in the fish room. Again, kind of, but I'm gonna wean them down. I'm gonna get them out of brackish, I think. We'll see. And what do I have in here? Usually you can put like a pump or something in here, but I have a wave maker. Does the job perfectly fine, stirs up the salt, and we'll let that sit for a bit. And don't worry, the fish are fine. All right, now while that's settling, let's hook up the filtration. I do have a new filter for this aquarium. Um, something I haven't used before and I'm really excited to use actually. And I bought this with my own money. So this is what we're using on this aquarium. This is a Shark Pro 700 made by CJ. Five year warranty on these products. That's what's enticing with CJ to me is that they have a five year warranty. Not 
a lot of brands do that. As a matter of fact, I don't think any other aquarium brand does that. It's pretty simple. The idea of this is it's kind of an underwater filter. You can put it above water if you want in certain areas of it. But let me show you something cool. These came out like roughly a year, year and a half ago, I would say, maybe two years ago. Anyways, so like I said, I have my kids home with me for spring break and let me tell you, it's fun. Cool thing is, this just kind of clips on. So this piece here just kind of clips on like that, just pops off. Hmm. So this is like the unlock. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so this is cool. So this is a magnet. This goes like that on the other side of the aquarium, which is really cool. Cool, I like this. And I think I can customize it too. I can put all my own media in here. Yeah, this is cool. So this one's got sponges. I'm gonna put my own media in this. There we go. So that piece is in. Then this piece. Aha. Uh -huh. Goes like that. At least I'm authentic and you're not seeing like somebody that's like, Pre, because like I tell you right now, the majority of the YouTubers that actually, or fish tubers that actually like try out products, they've already tried it before. And they've already learned to set it up. Because nobody wants to look like on YouTube, you can't do anything. Or you don't know what you're doing. Well, in my case, ladies and gentlemen, you go, you want, oh, this is cool too. This just pops off and you can clean the motor. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. No idea what that does. We'll figure that out after. And then I can adjust the flow rate which is really cool too. Yeah, super cool stuff. I've been wanting this for a while. I've actually asked CJ to send me a bunch of stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Take forever. Take too long, bud. I gotta, I gotta buy it. Even comes with this like, oh, different nozzle pieces so you can adjust the flow and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't need that. All right, so I found a spot for it, but I don't know how I feel about this uh, heater being there. I don't even know if I want a heater in here. The fish room is pretty warm. It stays around 76, 78. Um, it's been like that all winter, to be honest. So pretty soon I'll be able to rip all the heaters out of every tank. And I really, truly don't need it because the fish will be fine. Don't worry about the glass. I know it's dirty, but yeah. So it just clips on by magnet, which is really cool. It's like the only filter I've seen that do, does that. It's pretty cool. I think I'm going to grab some sand from the 125 gallon aquarium. And we're going to put that sand. We're going to use that sand, cycled and we're gonna throw that in the new tank as well. So this is basically what I'm doing. What you got done right here? I'm building a, a bank. I wanna make the bank too, too high because these fish actually don't need too, too much water. They're semi-aquatic. This is kind of perfect too. It'll help me when I decide I actually want to uh, shut down that aquarium. So my camera died and these guys have been in the bag for a couple hours, so we're gonna do a little salinity check here. It should be around 13. Let's check. Can you see? Because I can. What does it say? 13. Two. So we're in the 13s. Can't see that. See it now. All right, so we're perfect. We're in brackish. So now we can take the mud skippers. Four of them. Four mud skippers. Alright, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, look at the skate. I did this too up here, I'm sorry. So this is just corkwood. Shark Pro's down there. Really cool Shark Pro, love it. Cycled media. Um, I did put some cycled media actually in the Shark Pro. This is all cycled sand and some rocks here. Uh, I am shutting down the 125 gallon aquarium, so I'll have a lot more sand soon, but truthfully, they need at least, I'd say they need more land. They need, I'd say to about here, especially for four of them. Um, and this is a 20 long aquarium. Now, these types of blue dorsal mud skippers, they're also called the Atlantic mud skipper. I'll put their scientific name in the description of the video. They are, so these guys are, they get about seven inches as adults in captivity. And they are quite small right now. Um, they are wild caught. They are in brackish. There's one right there. Now let's get them out of the bag. They've been in there for quite some time. All right. So we're gonna just float them. 
just like everything else, we're going to float them. Um, I don't think they need anything crazy. I truthfully don't think they need much. So we're just going to float them and let them do their thing. Yeah, I mean, we're perfect. I don't really think we can get much better than this. I got a lot of stuff to update you guys on. I think I'll do that in the next video because I've gotten rid of a lot of fish. And no, it's not just for the sake of getting rid of fish. It's because I want to try new things. Um, one of the good things about being having a fish room is being able to try different aspects of the hobby and try out different fish. I hate it when people say, well, I don't watch that guy because he gets rid of his fish every three months. I will say, these guys right here, they're not going anywhere. Um, I don't think anyway, I can't see them going anywhere. Like all these guys up here, they're all good, everyone's fine. Yeah, they're not, I, I can't see the rays or, to be honest, the bites are in the back going anywhere. But these guys, on the other hand, are all going. Uh, all that's left is a Jag, a couple of Geos, Archer, and a Fire Eel. Uh, I, I really might keep the Fire Eel, I don't know yet. Probably not though. This little baby here, her tank is gonna be freed up soon, gonna get a very good cleaning. She's gonna be back out in the wild shortly. And Mitchie, Mitchie's always doing good. I did upgrade his filtration. I'll tell you what I put on it later on. Or if you can guess. Look at that. Look at that flow. Yeah. There's four of them. Blue dorsal mud skippers. Atlantic mud skipper is also their other name. You get about seven. Males get about seven, eight inches in, in, uh, in the wild. Females get around six, seven. So the females stay a little bit smaller than the males. And look at him right there. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes, and let's get him in the water. I gotta use my hand. This guy's gonna jump, holy. I don't wanna get their crown water in the tank, although it doesn't really matter. They are pretty little. Um, yeah. Let's Okay, one is in. Oh my gosh, super cool. That's two. All right, check this out. This one almost looks different than the rest. There's one there. Look at them though, aren't they cool? So three already on land. And the rest, fine. So what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm gonna turn their lights off. All right, guys, so here they are. Here are the mud skippers, the blue dorsal mud skippers. Check these guys out. Aren't they cool? The one at the back there almost looks like a different kind, to be honest, but let's see what happens. Look how they move. They can be fast, too. And they're an ambush predator. They are carnivorous. Um, in the fish store, they were eating fruit flies, believe it or not, because that's all they would eat when they came in. Got small crickets. So I got some small crickets, and we're going to try to feed them, them later on. But I'd really like them to get acclimated first, and uh, just so they'll do okay. But let's see. They'll explore their surroundings, and we'll kind of go from there. They just came in, so let's see what happens. There he goes. He comes in though. It'll do just fine in here. Lots of flow coming from that CJ Shark Pro pump. Lots of flow. Again, this looks like dirty water to you. It's absolutely clean water, and that Shark Pro is going to seed extremely quick, quickly with all that seeded media in there. However, again, so these guys can be pretty territorial. So I have the cork wood in there for a couple of them to hover on. It is awfully large. Oh, there's the fourth one up there. Oh, look at that. He found his little spot. Yeah. It'll be perfectly fine. I really want to see their dorsals pop up. Apparently, it's pretty cool to see. But check these guys out. Don't they look cool? Super cool. Pumped to get these guys eating, rocking, and going. So I'm gonna try feeding them with crickets. Oh, then of course we'll obviously try shrimp, brine shrimp, blood worms. We're gonna probably start off with blood worms and we'll really kind of go from there. But I'm pumped to have 
mudskippers, African mudskippers in the fish room. I've always wanted them. Who knows if I'll like them or not. Uh, if I don't like them, obviously, yeah, I'm not going to keep them. However, at the end of the day, super, super, super cool. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Um, I got a lot more to talk to you guys about. I am on vacation, so you can maybe expect to see more content from me throughout this week. But, but there's the skips. There's three right there. You know, it's funny. It's funny every time we get new fish. We're always like wondering, oh, where's the other one? Oh, look at that. He's right on there. Look at him go. Super cool. I would try to feed them now, but I really want them to get settled. They've been in that ba in bags for a couple hours. He's a big fella. Holy crap. Where'd he go? Yeah, they're fast, dude. There's all four of them right there. This one really, like, I don't know if this one's maybe a different. It, maybe if you somebody knows in the comments that keeps mud skippers. This one right here. Let me know. Is he just a different color because he's a female? He's a she or she's a he? Um, let me know. Because I'm curious. I want to know. These guys can be pretty ruthless with each other too, especially when they feed. Like I've seen it on like Instagram and like other YouTube videos of them feeding. They they get like ferocious. So pumped to, to see them really kind of go at it. But yeah, four is enough. I honestly, I wanted to get only two or three, uh, but there were four left and I did get all four. So that is the reason why I got four. Um, I think this might be a little bit, little small for them. Try it out anyway. We'll see how it goes. And if not, I'll probably get like maybe like a 33 long um, because they don't need a lot of water. They just, you know, or they just need some land spots that they can perch on and uh, to go in the water, obviously, when they want to. But I am going to try to bring these guys back down to fresh because I know of it doing very well. And uh, oh, there's this dorsal. Oh, crap. What happened there? Focus. There we go. I don't know. I don't see a blue dorsal. Do you? Cool little, cool little guys though. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, like I said before. And uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And stay tuned for some more videos on the channel. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.